everyone so today I am so excited for today's video because I feel like this is our first official baby gremlin video I think is what we're gonna call him until he's born and has a name of course but um, we did our little pregnancy announcement situation but this is our first spooky baby haul and I'm so excited to show you what I got because uh, I found out I was pregnant around Halloween season and into Halloween clearance season. So you know what that means. You know I went a little overboard, but are we surprised? I feel like most of you out there are like, no, we're not surprised at all. <laughs> we saw this coming. So I'm excited to show you what I picked out. I got mainly clothes, but I also got some things like bibs and uh, like a little toy. So a couple other things that aren't clothes. Most of the stuff, as I mentioned, I got during Halloween season. So I don't know how much of it I can find still if you're looking for it. But some of the stuff I got recently. So I will link as much as I can down in the description box if you're looking for any of these pieces. If you click the little show more in the description box and scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see a little area that says products in this video. If you click that, there'll be a little menu with all the little things that I mentioned. And whatever I can't find in the little YouTube search, I will try to put in the regular description box. And also if I can't find the exact items, I'll try to link something similar. So basically long is story longer. If you're looking for anything in this video, check the description boxes both the regular description box and the products in this video little box and then anything else I didn't link it's because I couldn't find it anymore or anything similar so anyways now that I've jabbed we got hair in our mouth and we're ready <laughs> now that I've jabbed my jaws for 300 years we're gonna get into this spooky baby haul I cannot wait to show you what I got let's get into it here we go All right, so the first thing I got oh, let's start with this because you know it's freaking bats and I love a good bat situation uh, this is from the brand Hannah Anderson and I'd heard of this brand before when I was looking for Halloween PJs for my nieces so I had come across them but it was a little pricey but I found these on clearance and so I was like you know I'm a sucker for a steal of a deal and I found this bat onesie oh my gosh this is just <sighs> There's something about these little, I don't know, these little spooky outfits that just get me. And it's freaking bats. So you know we love freaking bats around here. Little yellowish, orangish onesie with all these little bats all over it. Oh my gosh. And the little bats have eyeballs peeking through. I know I don't wear a lot of color, but I feel like, you know, little babies, they like colorful things. So I'm, I'm trying to expand my horizons here, people. So here we go. Um, this is size zero to three months. I'm gonna have a summer baby. So he's gonna be born in May, end of May at that. And so I didn't know if they wore long sleeves like at night in the summer, cause we have our air conditioning pumping, like it's going. And I know they can't have blankets in their little bassinet or whatever. So I didn't know, do they just wear long sleeves or short sleeves? And I tried to look it up and it looks like it's all across the board. So I don't know what I'm doing yet. So we just are getting some variety. So if we're gonna go with variety, we're gonna get something spooky. So I got this little, <laughs> this little long sleeve situation. You know what I'm so excited about this year? I know people get all excited about the matching Christmas pajamas, but I'm all about the matching Halloween pajamas. We're gonna be that family, everybody. <laughs> I hope you're ready. <laughs> okay, anyways, these are really cute. Okay, also, oh God, this little onesie situation with the ghosties all over it. Look at these little ghosties. That's another zipper onesie. I hear the zipper onesies are amazing and snaps or buttons or whatever are the devil. So, so I've been taking notes, people. I'm trying to figure this out. This one is a three to six month month size so perfect for spooky season and I just you know I can't resist a good ghosty oh by the way these ones don't have the little footy pajama situations they just have the regular cuffs so I don't know if that's useful information for anybody but I figured I'd mention it <laughs> love these little Hannah Anderson onesies I think these are so cute I need to cut the little tag things off but we're not there yet everybody we got time <laughs> so next up I got some spooky outfits from Old Navy and this first one <laughs> These little outfits are so cute. I feel like I'm, I feel like my soul is leaving my body right now. <laughs> okay, look at this little onesie. It's got snaps. I've heard snaps are annoying, but you know what? I could not resist this onesie. So we're gonna go with it because look at this little bat onesie. It's a little long sleeve onesie, but it's got no like pants. It's got just the open leg situation, but it has this little bat and it says scary cute on it. Oh 
god it's so cute and this is in the six to twelve months so this will be kind of winter time for my little gremlin i'm so excited about this it's so cute also <coughs> i'm choking <coughs> on life i'm just that excited anyways also got this little trio situation it's like a trio of onesies once again these are long sleeve i think these are three to six months so perfect for during halloween time uh, i got this little trio another long sleeve pantless onesie kind of situation and this one has it's all black with these little jack-o-lanterns all over it <laughs> it's killing me how cute these little jack-o-lantern faces are Oh, man, I want this in my size for real, though. Also, it came with this cream-colored beige situation, which it's not black, but it'll do. Also, this jack-o'-lantern face. Oh, it's got little vampire fangs on the jack-o'-lantern face. Also, from Old Navy, I could not resist this. I think this was the only size it came in because I would get one in every size if I could have, but I was late to the game. I got this little, I think this might glow in the dark or maybe not. I don't know. Does it glow in the dark? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I don't see where it says that, but I'm making things up now because I'm all excited. But it's this little skeleton onesie. I got this little green, like neon green accent around all the bones. It is so cute. And this one has the double zipper, which I hear is like the best thing ever for changing diapers, where there's a zipper at the bottom that zips up and there's a zipper at the top that zips down. So you have a double zipper situation so you can change a quick diaper and just tuck the legs back in, I'm assuming. I don't know what I'm talking about, but I'll eventually know what I'm talking about and I'll get back to you on it. <laughs> but look how cute this little skeleton outfit is. No, I could not resist a skeleton outfit for my son he has to have one we all need a skeleton outfit don't we this is baby's first skeleton outfit all right next up from old navy i got another little ghosty it's a little footy pajama situation and it's kind of that heathered gray look with these little ghosties with little smiley faces all over the ghosties get me every time but especially on a little baby outfit and then once again, you have the cuff that folds over the hand in case they're scratching their face or whatever. All right, last but not least from Old Navy, I had to get another zipper onesie. This one is a three to six month one. So I try to get a variety of zero to three, three to six, six to nine. So I have some different options for throughout the year. So I got another little sleeper onesie. This one is orange with this cute little jack-o'-lantern face on it. And I just... <laughs> I love everything about these little Halloween outfits. So I, I clearly went a little overboard with the onesies at Old Navy, but when they were on sale, they were marked down so low that I couldn't resist. I had to get them all. All right, last things from Old Navy. I got these socks. I just got two different sizes, but they're the same socks. Uh, I got these little spooky socks. I have like a little orange and white striped sock with a little jack-o'-lantern face and a little ghosty sock a bat sock they also have a black and white striped sock which you know is an essential i don't know if he'll even wear socks or he'll kick them off or never like them and i've heard all the things but i'm getting them anyways because they're spooky and they're socks so we got them all right next up i got a couple of spooky baby things from amazon a couple of these are new that i haven't even taken out of the package yet the first thing i got <laughs> again I can't get enough of these little spooky Halloween baby things. Uh, I, <laughs> this is so cute. I actually got this recently, so it should still be available. Again, it'll be in the description box, but it's a spooky bib and sock set. And the socks are so cute. Look at these little candy corn smiley face socks, y'all. These are so cute. And then of course some black and orange striped socks. And then the bibs are so cute. This little candy corn bib, black and orange stripes, and then freaking bats. So I got this whole little spooky bib and sock set. I thought it was really cute. So we got this. Then I got this, this Burt's Bees, which by the way, this is the softest, so soft and pretty lightweight too. So I got this, this spider web footy onesie. 
It's black with all these spider webs all over it. Once again, it's a whole zipper situation. And it has a little B detail on the button, which is okay with me because it's not a wasp. So we can carry on. And the little footies that have little bees on the bottom as well. But this whole aesthetic with the spider webs, I love a good thin looking eerie spider web. Look how tiny this is though. Little knees could fit in this thing. Oh man, it's so cute though. But this whole aesthetic of this onesie, I'm, I'm just all about it. So I got all excited, found this on Amazon. And I don't know if I said it, but this is the Burt's Bees brand. So next from Amazon, they had this Halloween teether. <laughs> you know I had to get it. Wait, what is going on? Well, first of all, it came with this little sloth. <laughs> little sloth teether came with it uh, but look at this little teether it has a little jack-o-lantern with a witch hat and a little skull guy on this teething ring kind of thing uh, but these are so cute I didn't even know a Halloween teether existed so the minute I saw this I was like my baby's gotta have it <laughs> And if the baby doesn't like it, I'll use it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> kidding. I had a couple different ones too. I was actually shocked. Didn't know it was a thing. Also got some stuff from Target during the Halloween season. And this first thing I'm so excited about, it's not clothing. It's a little spooky decoration piece for the nursery. And Dallas spotted this at Target. He ran in to see if they had put out any new Halloween stuff. And he spotted this there and he thought it'd be perfect for the nursery. And I could not agree more because we got baby his own Mr. Skeleton, everybody. <laughs> Baby's first Mr. Skeleton. <laughs> and it's a stuffed knit it's kind of like a sweater material feeling kind of thing and it's one of those things that can kind of sit on a shelf or on a rocking chair but we got baby his first mr skeleton all right so next up i got a bunch of clothes you know i did and this first little set and i saw this set before i even found out i was pregnant so when i found it on clearance i was so excited because i thought i had missed out on it but it's this little cat and jack set and it's short sleeve, which I was even more excited about because I'm having a May baby and I don't have a lot of short sleeve options yet. They're starting to come out, but a lot of the Halloween stuff is long sleeve. So I tried to get more, you know, three to six months or six to nine months in the longer sleeve stuff. But I found this in short sleeves and it's this ugh, little ghosty set with all these little ghosts floating around and their cute little faces. And it has the matching joggers, which how cute are these with the little ghosties all over it? This whole set, it just got me. So anyways, this whole set, I don't know why I'm all of a sudden becoming Flemmy the Flamingo, just randomly. All right, next little outfit from Target. It has black and white stripes, so you know I had to get it. So it's this little set and the shirt, the little t-shirt says Milk Monster on it. And then look at the pants, y'all. These black and white striped pants with these little monster dinosaur. To me, they look like little dinosaur spike things. And this little pouch, this little pocket pouch. How cute is this? So, you know, I'll be matching my son with our black and white striped obsession. But the Cat and Jack Halloween pieces, I look forward to these every year. I cannot wait to see what they have this year. I'm already so excited and it's January, everybody. <laughs> but again, are we surprised? Probably not. <laughs> Next up, I got this little trio. This one came with this, oh, again, another little ghosty onesie. This one is white with little gray ghosties all over it, little stars. And this one is the brand Cloud Island. And this is a three to six month and it's got the double zipper again. So super convenient. Uh, and this one is the only true Halloween spooky looking onesie in the set or trio. Cause it also came with this simple black and gray striped onesie, which once again, I love, I love a good simple aesthetic. And it also came with this black onesie with all these white stars all over it. I love this a whole little magical situation for my little wizard. <laughs> I'm so excited. And again, it has the double zipper, which I'm all excited to try and see what all the rage is about, you know? It also has the little mittens, the cuffs that turn into mittens. So, ugh, this is so cute. Love the little stars. Last but not least, I got some stuff from Pottery Barn ba Bailey. Oh, Bailey, baby. Bailey must be on my mind. He's always on my mind. But anyways, um, got some stuff from Pottery Barn Baby. And Pottery Barn can be a little pricey, but when you catch their sales, you can get some steals of a deals. <laughs> First of all, 
This is called a Halloween newborn bunting bat costume. <laughs> we'll just wait till I show you this. This cute little bat sack is what I'm gonna call it, a bat sack. <laughs> I don't know if there's a better word for it, but it's basically like a sleeper gown kind of thing, but it has a zipper at the bottom, which is super convenient. And then it also comes with a hat. But the cutest thing about it has these detachable bat wings on the back of this little gown or sleep sack or whatever it is. And they're Velcroed on. So you can take them off if you want to take them off. I was thinking of a cute little baby photo in this. Maybe a little newborn photo shoot. Um, but maybe the newborn announcement or um, maybe just some photos for Halloween or something like that. But I like that it's removable because let me tell you, this gown is super soft. Last I checked online, it was still available. So once again, I'll link it in the description uh, because it was on sale for a steal of a deal. So I snagged this and I found these fitted sheets for the crib. Y'all, these, <laughs> I want these for my bed. Once again, these were on sale on Halloween clearance. Couldn't resist them. But look at the design. You've got a whole little Grim Reaper skeleton guy, a, a Dracula, a black cat, jack-o'-lantern stars. I don't know if you can see the branchy tree situation down here. And there's a cauldron, all sorts of spooky things on these fitted sheets. Oh, it has a little Frankenstein. Look at the little Frankie down here. Oh, God. I don't know if I can even wait until Halloween to use these. I feel like I'm going to have to use them all year round, but I also want to preserve them. And now I'm out of breath and I need a snack. And <laughs> oh, wait, I'll show you the little bump if you want to see the progress. But here's my little bump, a little progress. I feel like he's getting a little bit bigger and really starting to pop this week. I'm 21 weeks. So he's really starting to come out and I can feel him moving around and he's starting to kick me at four in the morning, which I've heard only gets more exciting. <laughs> yeah, it's starting to feel finally like there's a little baby growing in there and we're so excited and I can't stop saying how excited we are, but we truly are so excited and uh, we've been taking you along for the ride and we just saw him the other day, which I filmed. So you'll see some preparing for baby vlogs here coming up. And um, we're shopping for our strollers and trying to figure out what kind of furniture we're getting and all that kind of stuff. But also if you want to see any more hauls of anything else that I get, uh, just some essentials or uh, any other baby stuff that I get, if you want to see that, let me know down in the comments because I'm happy to share anything. So I'm getting anything that we're accumulating. I'm happy to share if you want to see that. So let me know down in the comments. And yeah, anyways, hope you enjoyed this spooky baby haul. I can't believe we're shopping for our own baby, y'all. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you give it a thumbs up. Say hey, well, hey, down in the comments because you know I love talking to you. Also, I wanted to thank you so much for any name suggestions. You've been helping us out so much. We have a good list going now. I think we're going to wait to meet the baby before we give him an official name, but we have it at least kind of narrowed down to a small list. So you guys have been so helpful. So thank you so much. And just thank you for being so supportive. And we're just so excited to share this journey with you. Of course, I'm so thankful to have a spooky village here. Uh, so any recommendations, anything like that, let me know down in the comments. So anyways, again, thank you so much for everything. Thank you so much for your support. And thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time.